In the last few years, there have been a wave of great low-cost 3D printers that are easy, affordable, and accessible. But they're limited to only being able to print in one color or material. So we questioned and said, how can we take this to the next level? How can we bring 3D printing to a point where we can print objects that are much more representative of the ideas we're trying to communicate? So we created the palette. From elegant home projects to highly complex prototypes, complete with electrical connectivity, the palette enables your printer to create objects that used to be in the domain with much more expensive machines. What the palette lets you do is turn your single color 3D printer into a multi-color and multi-property printer. At Mosaic, we've come up with our own unique solution. It takes in four different types of filaments, and it actually joins them together, end to end, into one single filament strand that has perfectly calibrated lengths of each different filament. This approach enables controllable, multicolor functionality from a single extruder, the extruder already on your 3D printer. At first, it was all about color, and that was really exciting to us. But then with this new influx of materials that hit the market, like electrically conductive filament, all of a sudden, we're now able to upgrade a printer to print something like a flashlight or embedded circuitry. And that's just now. There are new filaments becoming available all the time, from magnetic to stainless steel infused. And by combining these filaments with the palette, a whole new range of functional parts can be printed. One of the big things we focused on since day one was no modifications as well as cross-platform compatibility. You put the palette next to your printer, run the filament through the measurement system, feed it into your printer, and then hit print. The software that you already use, the CAD programs, they can all export multiple SDLs. You slice these with your favorite slicer, run the output through our app, and you're ready to print. We're going open source firmware and software because although we're covering all of the nice-to-haves and need-to-haves with this product, we know that there's so many exciting applications and things that people have already been telling us about that they want to do, and so by opening up the software and firmware component, they can do it themselves. We've been working on the palette for a year now. We've gone from ideas on a whiteboard to a finalized prototype. We've sourced our suppliers, but now we need the dollars to- Hi, we're the team behind Tico. As inventors, we constantly use 3D printers to create and test our ideas. But every 3D printer we used fell short of our expectations. They were heavy, overcomplicated, and unreliable. We often spent more time calibrating our printers than printing our inventions. So we came up with a simple solution, Unibody. This is Tico, the Unibody 3D printer. Most 3D printer frames are built using separate rails. Unibody means the rails are built into the chassis, creating one solid piece. One solid piece, Unibody. And with this simple shift in design, all the problems that came from separate rail systems disappeared. More reliable and accurate, Tico sets a new standard for 3D printers. And it doesn't stop at Unibody. Tico has an internal filament tray, an enclosed build chamber, auto safety shutoff, a large print volume, a flexible base, wireless connectivity, and cloud-based software so you can print from almost anywhere on any internet-friendly device. With Tico, we've not only set a new standard for design, but for price too. Tico is only $179. Yup, one, seven, nine. That's the beauty of unibody design. It's better and it costs less to manufacture. We could set the price higher, but we want everyone to have a Tico. This is where we need your help. We use 3D printing to create Tico. Imagine all the ideas that could become realities. Imagine what you could build. Back us today and let's find out. We like having things right away. When you need a cup of coffee, you just push the lever down. Calling a cab is now as easy as tapping for one. And when programming, you can see if your code works at the click of a button. With the Volterra V1, if you need custom circuit boards, just press print. We've all been there. We send a circuit design off to a factory, wait two weeks for delivery, only to find that there's a mistake. The design takes a couple of iterations to perfect, but who's got the time for version two, three, or four? Just create your layout in whatever program you're already comfortable with. 
pass our software the Gerber files, and then press print. We designed this tool to help hardware developers see their ideas come to life faster than ever before. We use conductive and insulating ink to create fully functional two-layer circuit boards without ever having to email files around or wait for the FedEx truck. But this is so much more than just a prototyping tool. It can help you in any stage of development. For small batch runs, the printer is also a standalone solder paste dispenser. Once you add the components, it will reflow the board as well. Go ahead, toss out all those stencils. You won't need them anymore. We've used our backgrounds in nanotechnology and mechatronics engineering to really push the boundaries of this technology. The past two years have been spent in chemical experimentation, making sure we hit our benchmarks for conductivity, solderability, and reliability. Last year, we made the decision to move to Shenzhen, China, the electronics capital of the world. This allowed us to nail down our supply chain and manufacturing processes. First time people see a 3D printer in motion, it, it's, it's captivating. People are mesmerized by it, and everybody wants to get involved. 3D printer is kind of like magic. One minute you have this box on your desk, and the next minute you see an object appearing out of thin air. At M3D, we knew at some point in the future, these tools would be a part of everyone's lives. Um, so we asked, why not now? But there hasn't been a truly affordable consumer printer that's easy to use. You just plug it in and hit print uh, until now and that's why we made the Micro 3D printer. We started with a seamless design and we looked at all the existing 3D printers and we took everything that we liked and redesigned everything else. We knew that in order for them to really live up to their potential that they had to be affordable and completely effortless to use and several months uh, later we'd, we'd done it. In addition to reducing the size and the weight of the box we also reduced the power consumption by about a factor of 10 compared to professional 3D printers. By making it more power efficient, you basically reduce your costs of every component. It becomes lighter, the electronics become more affordable, everything drops. We use auto leveling and auto calibration so that you're never messing with the printer. We decided we had to provide software that just makes it really easy. So we have a library of existing parts and select what you want, just hit print. People can use other sources for their filaments or they can use ours and it goes both ways. Other people with different printers can buy our filaments as well. The Micro 3D printer is for everyone. We designed it to be perfect for beginner users but also for expert users. Of course they're already very useful today. You can use it for things like replacing a shower hook or building real prototypes or even functional parts, uh, replacements for things around your house for example. And that's just scratching the surface of what 3D printers are capable of. We want you know, a printer in every single house, but in order to get there we're going to need the Kickstarter funds to make the molds. A lot of people are going to get a printer as their reward, but what they're really doing is they're, they're helping us get started and, and they're creating a 3D printing is a revolution in creativity. You can make literally anything with it. All you have to do is click print. The pros of 3D printing are flexibility, um, socialization, uh, creativity, so anyone can 3D print now. So there's a bunch of cons. Uh, some of the main ones are cost of filaments. Uh, the printing creates a lot of waste product. You know, the notion of filling up a landfill with plastic. Uh, and color. Sometimes we're a little bit color limited. The problem with 3D printing is the filament. It's expensive and it's wasteful. And you're locked in to using only the manufacturer's colors and material. We've got this incredibly promising technology, but it's been held back until now. Introducing ProtoCycler, the world's first fully integrated, fully automated, safety certified filament recycler. ProtoCycler allows you to create custom filament in any color you like, anytime, from raw plastic pellets. These pellets are available in a variety of materials and at a drastically lower cost than filament. A one kilo spool of filament costs you up to $50. With ProtoCycler, you can create that same one kilo spool in any color for as little as $5. That's a 90% cost savings on every spool you print with. Its fully automatic operation, combined with real-time diameter feedback, means that anyone can get perfect filament every time. 
Because there's a distributed spooling system built right into Protocycler, your filament comes pre-spooled and ready to use. With a class-leading extrusion speed of 10 feet a minute, it only takes about two hours to create each one kilo spool. And given all the expensive waste 3D printing produces, Protocycler delivers a revolutionary solution to that problem as well. Protocycler's integrated grinder can recycle all the plastic waste from your 3D printing. For the first time, any failed prints, obsolete prototypes, and especially rafting and support material can now be recycled into perfectly usable filament in any color. So, using the Protocycler to create a one kilo spool from your waste plastic costs you practically nothing. A 90% savings using pellets and a 100% savings using your own waste plastic. 